Let's go to Cameron Redden now. He's in Canberra for us. So obviously things have calmed down a little bit in that uh, Senate inquiry. Brad Banducci is still under questioning, though. Uh, here it got a little willing between Green Senator Nick McKim and him uh, not that long ago. What happened? Yeah, willing is a fair word for it, I think, Laura. There's been a, a, a long running, for the best part of 45 minutes or more now, on and off, this ongoing spat between Brad Banducci, the Chief Executive of Bullies, and Nick McKim, the Green Senator, in this inquiry, where they're going at each other about, essentially, how Woolworths calculates how much money it is making, without getting into the gory details of return on investment versus return on equity. They've been arguing on and off about exactly how Woolworths calculates how well it is doing as a business. Let's show you some of this argy-bargy and then we'll talk about exactly what it led to. But this is about a 45-second snippet of what's been a 20, 25-minute back and forth between the two. Why won't you confirm what your ROE was? Senator, with due respect, we focus on our return on investment. All right, I know what you focus. Thank you, Mr. I, I, I know what you focus on. I feel compelled to advise you that it is open to the Senate to hold a witness in contempt when they refuse to answer a legitimate question. I've answered the question many times. You have not answered the question, Mr we Banducci. These, these Honestly, we I'm, I'm not interested in your spin or your bullshit. This is a Senate inquiry. Answer the question. Senator, I sit here before you very respectfully saying we would measure ourselves return very on investment. respectfully not answering the question. So pretty willing inside that Senate committee hearing it, then took a short break as it was due to at the top of the hour, came back and Nick McKim started then talking about the potential sanctions that could be imposed on Brad Banducci if he doesn't ask that question, including this claim, it could end in jail time. It is open to the Senate to hold you in contempt and that carries potential sanctions, including up to six months' imprisonment for you. Senator, I've tried to be very specific in saying what we focus on. That is where my focus is. So return on investment, a dollar rent and what our return is out and what is our shareholder return. Those are the numbers I focus on. If you simply say that you don't know and you'll take the question on notice, we can move on. The hearing continues here in Canberra. Laura, once Willies is done, Coles is up next. So a pretty willing day inside that committee here. Yes, yeah, certainly is. I didn't know such unparliamentary language was allowed inside a Senate committee, but uh, there you go. We'll see you soon, Cam. Keep us posted. It's on the hand side now. It is indeed. Well... Wow.